good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the May 4th, 2015 City Council meeting. A roll call, please, Madam Clerk. Alderman Rivera. Present. Alderman Cunningham. Present. Alderman Conkin. Present. Alderman Moisio. Present. Alderman Beedling. Here. Alderman Newsom. Present. Alderman Tempest. Present. Alderman May. Present. Alderman Valco. Present. Please stand for the invocation and pledge of allegiance. Father, we thank you again for another city council meeting. We thank you for all your blessings. We never get tired asking you to bless our city, bless our country. Bless the mayor and this council and all the people that walk in it. Ask these blessings in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Under Mayor's comments, I would like to make my appointments to committees. I, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna appoint the chair and the co-chair and the members of that committee. Uh, it took me time and thought to put these people together because I know we get the best results when we put the most competent people together as one. And these committees are very, very important. They're vital to the, to the management of the city. So the Finance Committee, the chair is Alderman Valco, co-chair is Alderman Cunningham, members are Alderman Newsom, Alderman May, Alderman Taylor. Judiciary Committee, the committee chair is Alderman Moisio, the co-chair is Alderman Valco, the members are Alderman Newsom, Alderman Tempest, Alderman Taylor. The Public Safety Committee, the chair is Alderman Tempest, Co-chair is Alderman Newsom. The members are Alderman Cunningham, Alderman Seeger, Seeger, Alderman Villalobos. Public Works Committee, the chair is Alderman Newsom. The co-chair is Alderman Moisio. Alderman Seeger is on that committee as well as uh, Alderman Villalobos and Alderman Tempest. Economic Development Committee, the chair is Alderman May. The co-chair is Alderman Valco. The members are Alderman Cunningham, Alderman Moisio, Alderman Taylor. Insurance Committee, the chair is Alderman Cunningham. Co-chair is Alderman May, Alderman Zegar, Alderman Villalobos, Alderman Taylor. The Labor Relations, um, since I'm the mayor, I put myself there, I'm the chair, because I can. Uh, Alderman Tempest is the co-chair. Alderman Moisio, Alderman May, and Alderman Valco are, those are the committees. Those are the committees. Alderman, I will pass those out to you. I have copies of those. Uh, that being said, audience time. Uh, Derek Walker, please. Derek, if you'll step up to the mic, please. Chris, th this is for Mr. Walker. That is, is Mr. Walker. Oh. Yeah. Is he going to speak? Uh, yeah. You got the mic? Okay, go ahead. Um, I had a family meeting at home, and uh, we decided that um, the police should uh, have um, these little cameras are, um, on their suits just um, so we can see what they're doing. And uh, um, we said um, we just have um, security cameras um, in different places so we can see what the police are doing around here. And uh, most of the people that have like phones and stuff and technology, uh, they should bring it with them so we can uh, record what the police do and stuff like that. And that's all. Mm -hmm. So in other words, he's asking for body cameras for the officers. Well, Chris, you know what? If I could afford them, they'd be here tomorrow. We don't have the funding for those body cameras. Do you want to help me pay for those? 
Say it again. Do you want to help me pay for those cameras? Well, I think you have a lot of budget for cars and things that you'd be buying. So since you have a pretty okay. big budget uh, for various equipment that you have, uh, I'm sure you can find the budget because you, buy, you just bought some squad cars last week. Those so, are from bond forfeitures for narcotics, Chris. Okay, okay. So I'm, I'm think that we can get creative to find what needs to be found for I think, Chris, cameras. maybe what you should do is before you come out here and do this, maybe you should come to my office and talk to me about it. It'd probably get resolved a lot better that way. Okay, well, I can do them. Well, I'd like to do them both. I would like I to bring it to the floor for the community, and definitely okay, I can stop by you. Mr. Also. Blanks, it's your three minutes. You're okay. Sure. Uh, so, with that being said, also, uh, one of the things I want to bring to the attention of the council is something that I've heard echoed in this chamber quite a bit line item by line item by line item when it comes to the budget. I think it's not only good so the aldermen can be aware of everything that's going on in the budget. But I think line item by line item is also just as good so the audience and the community can be aware and there's transparency and accountability. So I want to echo that and hopefully we can get back to line item by line item because myself as a taxpaying citizen, I'd like to know more about what's being spent and how the budget is being spent. Number two, city stickers. City stickers, don't play with my phone. Okay. Uh, city stickers. You know, I understand that the city definitely have to raise revenue. However, to go from $45, uh, which was the, go from the original fee, which is $40, and I know you wanted to give citizens term, time to pay for that, but you go from 40 to 45, but right now to go, and I've discussed this with you, and the reason you might wonder why I'm putting it on the floor, because I want to address this to the aldermen who also have to make decisions. And so when we're looking at the city stickers to go from $45 to a hundred percent $90. I think it's a big much on our citizens. I don't think that we have to go from $45 and when it's late to go to a whole hundred percent at $90. So that means if someone right now at this particular time, if they are found without a city sticker, then they're looking to pay a whole hundred and eighty dollars for a city sticker. Granted, we shouldn't be late, but sometimes when people have to make choices between a city sticker and things of priority or emergency, then surely the city sticker is not going to be on the top of their priority. So I get the fact they might have to pay a penalty. But to make that penalty a whole hundred percent, I don't think it's fair to the taxpayers, and I think we can come up with a better system than making these, tax, uh, these citizens having to pay a whole hundred percent for a city sticker. Thank you for your time and your Thank attention. Thank you, Mr. Blanks. Uh, next is the uh, motion to approve the regular minutes, meeting minutes of April 30th, April 20th, 2015, and the executive session minutes. Motion by Alderman Conkin, second by Alderman Beedling. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Next item, resolution, proclamation, presentation, and appointments. I thought about these individuals and who I wanted to be on these committees. Um, these committees are volunteer committees. These people give of their time for nothing. They, all they ask in return is a little bit of respect. They have gained mine. The people that I've chosen for these committees, I know all but one of them. I, I interviewed them myself um, with uh, Mr. Mr. Lee. They're all competent, capable people. And the important thing is they're, work, they're willing to work for this community at no cost, except for the commissioner, the uh, secretary of the Civil Service Commission. So, appointment of Eric G. Rivera and Mary Stickles to the Waukegan Library Board. Are, are they here? Mary, Eric, come forward, please. Mary Stickles here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Eric Rivera, and he will be appointed by me to the Library Board. Uh, Mr. Rivera, personally, I thank you for your commitment to this community. A motion by Alderman Conkin, second by Alderman Cunningham. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Sir, is there anything like to say? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Next appointment. <laughs> Next appointment is the appointment of Jack Dye to the Planning and Zoning Commission. Uh, Mary Stickles here? Mary, no, Mary's not here. Oh, and I'm sorry. Uh, 
same a motion by Alderman Conkin and second by Alderman Cunningham to appoint Mary Stickles to the library board. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Uh, Jack Dye and I had a discussion. I followed Jack's campaign. I was very pleased with him. He was very respectful to a, a seated alderman. That impressed me beyond belief. I sat and talked to him. I sent him a text message and I called him and I thanked him for his courage and commitment and I thanked him for being a gentleman in that campaign. <coughs> that impressed me. A man like that has a place in this city. So I, I'm a motion by Alderman Larry Tempest, seconded by Alderman May, to appoint Jack Dye to the Planning and Zoning Commission. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Mr. Dye, would you like to say anything? No, thank you. Would you stand up, please, sir? <laughs> uh, the next appointment is to Deborah Arsdale to the police pension board. Her, her uh, term expired. She stopped in my office to remind me of that. Um, Deborah, are you here? Okay. A motion by Alderman Newsom, second by Alderman May, to appoint Deborah Arsdale to the Police Pension Board. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The next appointment is a point, uh, appointment of Jim St. Clair as Secretary of the Civil Service Commission. Very big job. Jim is a retired police captain. He knows the job. He knows it well. He is very meticulous in his duties and responsibilities. I called him up last Friday. I said, Jim, I'm going to ask you one more time. Please do this for me. The city needs a person with your character and your knowledge to do this job. And he said he would. So it is my pleasure to uh, motion by Alderman Valco, <laughs> second by Alderman Moisio, to appoint Jim St. Clair as the Secretary of the Civil Service Commission. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. One nay. Next is the Judiciary Committee. Alderman uh, Rivera, please. Your Honor, before we move on, um, I understand these are your appointments, and, and I respect that. Uh, however, I, in all fairness to them, I'm not going to say anything tonight, but Your Honor, this is the first I'm hearing about any of your appointments. I mean, in the past, uh, you've been extremely well, uh, good at making sure that we get resumes, we have a little chit-chat with it. The resumes were in your packet. I sent resumes to all, to your packet. Is it, is it in your okay, packet? Okay, well, Your Honor, I, I don't have them. I'm just letting you know okay. I do not okay. have This is the first time even okay. hearing about any, we, I've heard you mention that you were thinking about this. But, yeah. you know, to do this tonight, particularly with all the other things that are going on, it would have been, I would have been appreciative. I, I spoke with Alderman Mozio. Sounds like he was aware of a couple of them. Sounds like Alderman Tippins, Alderman May. So some Alderman were very much familiar with what was going on tonight, but uh, I wasn't. Okay. In fairness to them, they're here. I don't think it's right that their family and their friends are here as they get appointed to the very special committees and being volunteering their time to our city. But in the future, sir, I'm asking you, please, if you can give that to me, I'd appreciate it. Uh, and I apologize for the error. I'll take full responsibility for that mistake. And it, uh, I can assure you, I will confer with all of you before I make any future appointments. No, thank, thank you, Alderman. sir. Appreciate that. Uh, Judiciary Committee, Alderman Rivera. Thank you, uh, Your Honor. The Judiciary Committee came to order at approximately 5 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, the first item on the agenda, item uh, A, adopt an ordinance approving zoning calendar number 2456, conditional use permit for a billiard hall located at 2500 Grand Avenue, the petitioner Robert Delgadillo Mico Penarieta, Penarieta, I hope I pronounced that right. Now uh, this is an Alderman uh, Moisio's uh, ward. I uh, spoke to the Alderman, uh, he likes the, uh, the project. Uh, these same people open up a business uh, over at the Belvedere Mall I'd say in about 2011, and we approved it. Uh, they've have never had any uh, issues there, but uh, from what I understand, they are going to be moving uh, from that location to this location. Uh, so everything, the staff uh, at, uh, for the uh, planning and zoning did a good job in the uh, research, and, and I so move. Motion by Alderman Rivera, second by Alderman Valco. Roll call, please, Madam Clerk. Alderman Rivera. 
Aye. Alderman Cunningham? Aye. Alderman Conkin? Aye. Alderman Moisio? Aye. Alderman Beedling? Aye. Alderman Newsom? Aye. Alderman Tempest? Aye. Alderman May? Aye. Alderman Valco? Aye. Item B, adopt an ordinance approving zoning calendar 2457, text amendment to sections 8.2-4, 8.3-4, 8.4-4, 8.4-5, 8.4-6, 8.4-7, 8.4-8, 8.4-9, 8.4-10, 8.4-11, 8.4-12, 8.4-13, 8.4-14, 8.4-15, 8.4-16, 8.4-17, 8.4-18, 8.4-19, 8.4-20, 8.4-21, 8.4-22, 8.4-23, 8.4-24, 8.4-25, 8.4-26, 8.4-27, 8.4-28, 8.4-29, 8.4-30, 8.4-31, 8.4-32, 8.4-33, 8.4-34, 8.4-35, 8.4-36, 8.4-37, 8.4-38, 8.4-39, 8.4-40, 8.4-41, 8.4-42, 8.4-43, 8.4-44, 8.4-45, 8.4-46, 8.4-47, 8.4-48, 8.4-49, 8.4-50, 8.4-51, 8.4-52, 8.4-53, 8.4-54, 8.4-55, 8.4-56, 8.4-57, 8.4-58, 8.4-59, 8.4-60, 8.4-61, 8.4-62, 8.4-63, 8.4-64, 8.4-65, 8.4-66, 8.4-67, 8.4-68, 8.4-69, 8.4-70, 8.4-71, 8.4-72, 8.4-73, 8.4-74, 8.4-75, 8.4-76, 8.4-77, 8.4-78, 8.4-79, 8.4-80, 8.4-81, 8.4-82, 8.4-83, 8.4-84, 8.4-85, 8.4-86, 8.4-87, 8.4-88, 8.4-89, 8.4-90, 8.4-91, 8.4-92, 8.4-93, 8.4-94, 8.4-95, 8.4-96, 8.4-97, 8.4-98, 8.4-99, 8.4-100, 8.4-101, 8.4-102, 8.4-103, 8.4-104, 8.4-105, 8.4-106, 8.4-107, 8.4-108, 8.4-109, 8.4-110, 8.4-111, 8.4-112, 8.4-113, 8.4-114, 8.4-115, 8.4-116, 8.4-117, 8.4-118, 8.4-119, 8.4-120, 8.4-121, 8.4-122, 8.4-123, 8.4-124, 8.4-125, 8.4-126, 8.4-127, 8.4-128, 8.4-129, 8.4-130, 8.4-131, 8.4-132, 8.4-133, 8.4-134, 8.4-135, 8.4-136, 8.4-137, 8.4-138, 8.4-139, 8.4-140, 8.4-141, 8.4-142, 8.4-143, 8.4-144, 8.4-145, 8.4-146, 8.4-147, 8.4-148, 8.4-149, 8.4-149, 8.4-150, 8.4-151, 8.4-152, 8.4-153, 8.4-154, 8.4-155, 8.4-156, 8.4-157, 8.4-158, 8.4-159, 8.4-160, 8.4-170, 8.4-171, 8.4-172, 8.4-173, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-174, 8.4-
A motion waiving the bid process and authorizing the information technology director to execute a statement of work orders by and between the city and Cayenta for a total amount not to exceed $15,960 plus reasonable travel costs to develop the following data interface solutions, VSC system extract for the police timekeeping software, water meter extract for the PMI, the automated water meter reading system, and payments upload file, IVR, water payments, and so the public knows what this is, is for the new timekeeping for the police department, that's about $4,500. The last two, the automatic meter readings, was approved by the city council in March. Uh, that's for the new water meter readings that we're gonna have, the company coming in, and the last one is the IVR. For the program will allow us to take payments over the phone for water bill online. Uh, the finance committee recommends, Your Honor, and I so move. Motion by Alderman Valco, second by Alderman Newsom. Roll call, please, Madame Clerk. Alderman Rivera? Aye. Alderman Cunningham? Aye. Alderman Conkin? Aye. Alderman Moisio? Aye. Alderman Beedling? Aye. Alderman Newsom? Aye. Alderman Tempest? Aye. Alderman May? Aye. Alderman Valco? Aye. That's all, Your Honor. Thank you, Alderman. Uh, Alderman. The next is the Labor Relations Committee. We met this, uh, this evening at 5.30. Um, the vote was unanimous to accept the contract. Uh, the motion is motion to approve the collective bargaining agreement between the Teamsters 170, I'm, an, I'm sorry, 700, representing police lieutenants and the city of Waukegan effective May 1st, 2015 and terminating on April 30th, 2018. The highlights of this, for those of you who weren't at the meeting, uh, they're, gonna, they're gonna remain on 12 hour shifts. Um, they are going to, under compassionate leave, 17-9, we're gonna incorporate the spouse's grandparent and grandchild for funeral leave. Under uh, insurance, the city will make available dental and vision insurance plans, said dental and vision insurance plans to be selected at the sole discretion of the city. The uniform allowance will be $1,270. The raise will be 2% across the board, and there will be a $1,400 signing incentive. A motion by Alderman Valco, seconded by Alderman Tempest, to accept as presented. Roll call, please, Madam Clerk. Your Honor. Your Honor. Yes. I'm sorry. What is the signing incentive? Uh, if. If they took the signing, the contract as presented, we would, there's nine of them in the unit. We, we, uh, thank you, Your Honor. Thank the you. sign was I'm good. I'm good, thank you. That, that's all that was. Roll call, please, Madam Clerk. Alderman Rivera? Aye. Alderman Cunningham? Aye. Alderman Conkin? Aye. Alderman Moisio? Aye. Alderman Beebling? No, for the same reason I voted no on the sergeant's contract. Opportunity missed here. These pension funds are going to bankrupt this municipality. Thank you. Alderman Newsom? Aye. Alderman Tempest? Aye. Alderman May? Aye. Alderman Valco? Aye. <clears throat> Insurance Committee, Alderman Cunningham? I want to thank the Vice Chairman for chairing that meeting. The meeting was held at uh, 630. Item A. Uh, Authorized proper city official to settle central service central services employment practice liability claim number C six four five dash one three dash zero zero eight nine six dash zero one for an amount not to exceed twelve thousand five hundred. I so move. Motion by Alderman Cunningham, second by Alderman Beedling. Roll call, please, Madam Clerk. Alderman Rivera? Aye. Alderman Cunningham? Aye. Alderman Conkin? No. Alderman Moisio? Aye. Alderman Beedling? Aye. Alderman Newsom? Aye. Alderman Tempest? Aye. Alderman May? Aye. Alderman Valco? Aye. And just so you know, Alderman, this original claim was for $200,000, and we settled it for $12,500. <laughs> Alderman Cunningham? Authorized probably a city official to settle police department 
Police Liability Claims, Claim Number C, 645-14-01022-01 for an amount not to exceed $18,000, and I so move. Motion by Alderman Cunningham, second by Alderman Beedling. Roll call, please, Madam Clerk. 25000 Was it 25 or my bad. Is it 25 or 18? I have item A and item B. It's 18,000. All of it? I have 18. Oh, it is 18,000. Corporation Council. So a motion to amend by Alderman Cunningham, second by Alderman Moisio. All those in favor? Aye. So the new motion will be $18,000. The roll call, please, Madam Clerk. Alderman Rivera? Aye, not, not to exceed 18,000. Yes. Not to exceed 18. What else Aye. Alderman Cunningham? <coughs> oh, okay. Alderman Cunningham? Aye. Alderman Conkin? Aye. Alderman Moisio? Aye. Alderman Beedling? Aye. Alderman Newsom? Aye. Alderman Tempest? Aye. Alderman May? Aye. Alderman Velko? Aye. Uh, Authorize proper city officials to settle police department p police liability claim, claim number 645. Dash nine two dash zero zero two six five dash zero one for an amount not to exceed seven million five hundred thousand. <coughs> and I so move. A motion by Alderman Cunningham, second by Alderman Beedling. Before we vote on this, uh, I'd like the Corporation <coughs> Council to explain to you what the seven million five hundred thousand dollars five hundred thousand dollars is. As I stated in committee, <clears throat> this is the Juan Rivera case versus the city of Waukegan, versus Lake County, versus the Sheriff's Department of Lake County, versus Lake Forest, versus Buffalo Grove, uh, versus Reed and Associates, uh, versus the state of Illinois, versus Round Lake Beach. <clears throat> this case results from an arrest that was made of Mr. Rivera back in 1992, wherein he was charged with homicide. Subsequent to there, he was uh, tried by three separate juries in Lake County. He was convicted three times in Lake County of the homicide and resentenced on each and every case. Thereafter, <clears throat> we became aware, and the, as, as things do evolve, there was a better and more sophisticated DNA approach to the case. Some of the evidence was reevaluated and retested. Uh, the, the DNA indicated that <clears throat> he was excluded as a person to have been involved in the actual rape of the victim. Uh, it didn't address uh, the other issues, but thereafter, this, uh, the appellate court and the state of Illinois and <coughs> Lake County uh, issued a certificate of innocence to Mr. Rivera. Uh, thereafter, in 2010, he sued the city of Waukegan uh, for malicious prosecution, uh, false arrest, and other subsequent charges. Uh, after uh, the case was filed, it has been going through the system in federal court in Chicago. Uh, not too long ago, back in February, uh, all the defendants settled other than the city of Waukegan. Uh, we were left to settle the case on our own. Uh, we met in Chicago with the uh, judge uh, who was uh, in charge of the case, as well as all of the prosecuting attorneys and our side of the case, including um, Mayor Motley. <clears throat> we had a long afternoon in Chicago. The original demand to the city of Waukegan at the time we sat at the table, and we had learned 4 o'clock p.m. the day before they wish the city of Waukegan to pay $20 million. Uh, <clears throat> considering the amount that was there, uh, the mayor was very uh, beneficial uh, in indicating to the court, particularly the judge and the prosecuting attorneys, that if they wished $20 million from the city of Waukegan, he would bankrupt the city before he'd pay it. Uh, the mayor was extremely beneficial as far as the economics of the case and in getting this to be reduced from $20 million to $7.5 million. Uh, we also hired an attorney from Chicago to assist us in the case named Andrew Hale. He is currently and was prior to this a uh, defense attorney for all 1983 actions or most, most thereof for the city of Chicago and has vast experience against the law firm of Lovey and Lovey who were prosecuting the case on behalf of Mr. Rivera. Uh, we, we all sat in the meeting. We all agreed that this was an excellent settlement for the city of Waukegan. I understand it's a lot of money, but considering the downside that could have occurred in the courtroom on the case, it was felt economically, and it'd be extremely beneficial to the city to settle for that amount of money. It'll be paid out in three installments. The first installment in 2.5 million will be 30 days after we initiate the final settlement agreement with the plaintiff. The other two settlements of 2.5 million will be paid on the anniversary, first anniversary date, 
and second anniversary date of the case. It is felt this is the best economic decision uh, the city can make in this case, and it is concluded. Uh, we have stopped our attorney fees, uh, which was a, a hemorrhage of approximately $50,000 a month on the case. Uh, so the best thing to do was to do it, and I feel it was in the best interest as well. I believe the mayor did, Sue. Thank you. And I also would like to add, Mayor. Yes. Uh, you also uh, were not involved with the Lake County Task Force, so I commend you on that too. So we're not uh, involved with that anymore. The minute we spoke to the, the judge in this matter and we learned that Lake County, uh, the Lake County Sheriff's, Lake County Office of Lake County, the State's Attorney's Office, Lake Forest, and all the other individual uh, people being sued had left us out of the settlement. We could have settled this case for half of what we ended up paying, in my opinion. They left us out. They left us hanging to dry. I didn't appreciate that. I thought it was very, very uh, disrespectful to the city of Waukegan. The minute the judgment was reached, I called Aaron Lawler and I called Mike Nearheim, the state's attorney, and I withdrew any of Waukegan's services to Lake County Major Crime Scene Unit. I felt that's what I had to do because what they did to us was extremely inappropriate in my mind. Thank you, Alderman. Roll call, please, Madam Clerk. Your Honor, before we move on, and yes. I, I think, is, and Steve, if you can yep. speak about this a little bit, uh, some of our processes and practices have also been, I don't want to say changed, but definitely <clears throat> differently as they were in the past as we're doing now and for the future. Is that correct? <clears throat> The things that could be addressed have been addressed. Uh, obviously, when you're a city of this size and we have a police department of this size who work diligently and they work very hard to do their job, at some points in times it goes awry with no responsibility on the police department or the administration or the participants in the investigation. Uh, this was a case I believe that they did to the best of the ability uh, that anything uh, that we can try to address relative to this case, Alderman, has been, will be, and it's a continuing um, concern that we're, we're working together with the police department, the investigators, the detective bureau, and I believe that uh, there are things that we can tweak, uh, but all in all, as I indicated, uh, the police department, uh, in my opinion, as chief counsel for the city, they, they do an excellent job, and they do their job to the best of their ability. Roll call, please, Madam Clerk. Alderman Rivera. I thank you, uh, Counselor, for, for all the work that you have done in regards to this case as well. Alderman Conkin? I mean, Alderman Cunningham? Aye. Alderman Conkin? Aye. Alderman Weisio? Aye. Alderman Beedling? Aye. Alderman Newsom? Aye. Alderman Tempest? Aye. Alderman May? Aye. Aye. Alderman Valco? Aye. Uh, item D, authorized proper city officials to settle police department bodily injury liability claim claim number c645-13-00901-2022 for an amount not to exceed seventy thousand dollars and i so move motion by alderman cunningham second by alderman beedling roll call please madam clerk alderman mm -hmm. rivera aye alderman cunningham aye alderman conkin aye alderman moisio aye alderman beedling aye alderman newsom aye alderman tempest aye alderman may aye alderman Belco. aye Item E, authorize proper city officials to renew the following lines of coverage with the, with the listed carriers for the, for the policy year beginning July 1, 2015 for a total amount not to exceed $1,076,488, excluding self-insured retention and deductibles as presented. Property, borrowing machinery, auto physical damage, PEP, cyber, cyber coverage, liability, state retention coverage, employee liability, safety national, excess liability, Taurus, workers, compensa workers' compensation, safety national, crime, travelers, and Horton Group broker. And I so move. Motion by Alderman Cunningham, second by Alderman Beedling. Roll call, please, Madam Clerk. Alderman Rivera. Aye. Alderman, Con Alderman Cunningham. Aye. Alderman Conkin. Aye. Alderman Moisio. Aye. Alderman Beedley. Aye. Alderman Newsom. Aye. Alderman Tempest. Aye. Alderman May. Aye. Alderman Valco. Aye. Public safety. Uh, uh, Mayor, Mayor, before uh, we Alderman, continue, I'm sorry. Alderman. But you had uh, spoke about the uh, accident review board uh, uh, that you were planning to create. Yeah, because of 
for those of you who don't, may not know or, or follow this, our workman's compensation claims for one month, uh, two months ago, were just short of $1 million in workman's comp claim. Because of that, uh, we're forming a, an insurance committee, a review board to review all of our insurance claims. We're gonna determine how the accident happened, how it happened, who was at fault in the accident, what we can do to prevent the accident, how we can educate our employees, uh, mainly police and fire, on how to not get in situations where they get harmed. Um, but we also included uh, union representation, fire, police, public safety, public works. We included a representative from all of our bargaining units, along with myself, Tina Smigelski, and several other members of the staff. Uh, hopefully we can get this thing under wraps. Uh, Horton Group is our new, is our insurance carrier, and they're really big on uh, workman's comp claims and trying to avert some of these claims. So we'll be forming that committee and hopefully we'll get good results and our, our employees will not be injured uh, to the effect of $1 million a month. Thank you. Uh, public safety. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Uh, public safety committee met this evening at 645. We had one item on the agenda. Item A is to motion to waive the bid process for the repair of a 1995 Seagrave fire truck and have Inland Power Group install a rebuilt engine at a cost of $51,250. Funding for this repair will be taken from the Capital Outlay Vehicle Fund, line item one zero zero three zero one nine two six four nine three, and I so move. Motion by Alderman Conkin, seconded by Alderman Beedling. Roll call please, Madam Clerk. Alderman Rivera? Aye. Alderman Cunningham? Aye. Alderman Conkin? Aye. Alderman Moisio? Aye. Alderman Beadley? Aye. Alderman Nusa? Aye. Alderman Tempest? Aye. Alderman May? Aye. Alderman Velko? Aye. Your Honor, I'd just like to make a comment that I've uh, enjoyed being on the Public Safety Committee and hey, the Chair. Can you wait a floor. second? Excuse me? Wait one second. Okay. At this time, I would like to say thank you to three wonderful gentlemen, Alderman Conkin, Alderman Beedling and Alderman Rivera. This is their last night as members of the Joaquin City Council. I am very proud of what they've done. They have been men of courage and commitment. They have stood by this committee and this mayor for two mm -hmm. years. Through thick and thin, we've had our disagreements. I, everyone knows that's how it works in this job. But I, I thank all three of you for being so compassionate <clears throat> about your, your role as aldermen working so diligently to make Waukegan a better place to live, work, and play. And gentlemen, with, I have nothing but respect for all three of you. Thank you very much for your commitment. Conkin, you have the floor. Thank you, sir. Um, my comments were just uh, mentioned once again. I've enjoyed uh, chairing the Public Safety Committee, and I really want to thank the chiefs that I have to work with now, Chief Wallace and Chief Farrell at the Police and Fire Departments, outstanding gentlemen and outstanding leaders of their respective departments. The city's in good hands. I'd also like to thank all of the department heads in the city. They have all worked uh, very well and uh, <coughs> done anything that the aldermen I believe have asked them to do and so to all the department heads I say thank you very much and I've appreciated the last uh, six years of work. I'd also like to uh, just comment I know that this council uh, has made mistakes in the past but I'd like to think not many. Uh, I think everybody up here was here for the betterment of the city of Waukegan and I'd like to just say that uh, we move forward with projects that we needed to. Um, and to the future alderman, the future council, I extend my best wishes and congratulations. And uh, remember that when you're working day to day, you're taking care of your ward. When you're up here on Monday nights, you got to take care of the city. Thank you very much. Thank you, Alderman Conkin. <laughs> alderman alderman Beedling. I don't have much to say, but I appreciate the education in uh, city government I received the last four years, especially in finance, working with the police department. 
and especially um, audience time, trips might trigger occasionally. And I, and, and I think I would be remiss if I didn't comment on uh, Mr. Blanks's comments about body cameras. I'd be all for body cameras because I think the public needs to see the animals that our police officers have to deal with on a daily and nightly basis. I'd, I'd be all for putting those videos on the city website unedited so people could see how raw it gets. I had a police radio over the last four years. You don't get the full picture listening to dispatch and the communication between the officer and dispatch, but I can tell you there's a lot of very ignorant, ugly people in this community that are very heavy users of city services requiring a very large police department to keep things under control and our police department will continue to have my unconditional support. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman. Alderman Rivera. Well, <laughs> well first of all, before I start, I want to introduce my family, which is uh, one of the reasons, big reasons, why I decided to retire because family is very important. It's more important. The man upstairs is the most, but your family is next. And this is my family. I got my brother there, Louis Vieira. Louis, can you stand up, please? <laughs> Louis is an awesome, uh, awesome man, I'm telling you. Tremendous uh, uh, designer, can do it all. This is my sister-in-law, Rose. She works for Cook County. She's a Cook County probation officer. So, you know, I know Steve Martin. I think you might remember, uh, you know, uh, my sister-in-law. I've got my father-in-law. My father-in-law, <laughs> Mr. Santiago, J. Santiago. He's excellent with the numbers. He loves the stock market. Uh, I've got my wonderful son, Marcus Rivera. Marcus, could you stand up, please? <laughs> I'm proud of Marcus. He's, you know, a VP, Vice President with Northern Trust. He's doing well. I've got his, my lovely daughter-in-law, who I love so much, Amanda. Why don't you stand up? And my grandson, Raphael. <laughs> I've got my mother-in-law, mother-in-law Carmen. Why don't you stand up? <laughs> And of course, I've got my boss. beautiful wife, the boss. Yeah. 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 Uh, she's an awesome lady. She's been involved in all politics from way back when uh, Matajevic and the, uh, when the Democratic, uh, Democrats are actually a, a pretty strong machine here in this area. So, but I couldn't have done it without their support. Believe me, and, and believe me, they have supported me for the past, even years before, when, whenever I, I'd get involved with, with things that I was doing in, in the community. They were always there backing me up, and I appreciate that very much. Now, on the city side, on the city side, the staff that we have here is by none better than any staff that I've been involved with, especially when you're, as aldermen, when we're up here, you know, the most important thing for us is to be prepared. And when you have a staff that we have to prepare you, uh, believe me, they're bar none. They do their research. They present it to us. We ask questions. We go back and forth. It's a beautiful thing. Everyone is, is, is involved with your, uh, with us looking good up here. And if it wasn't for them, believe me, we wouldn't be be looking like we look up here sometimes so i appreciate that very much and i'm talking about every department head from the chief of police on down everyone has been vital in my <clears throat> development uh in this community my development as a politician but uh, uh without them i wouldn't be you know uh, where i am right now sure it was tough when i first came in but you learn but you learn, as committee chairs, 
uh, believe me, as committee chairs, it's we have a lot of, I don't like to use power, but if there's something that is presented in that agenda uh, as a uh, committee chair, you have the right to say, you know what, I don't want this here. I don't want this on this on my agenda. This is controversial. You know, I didn't know that when I first started. So I've learned a lot. You gain a lot of experience. And I know Ann Taylor, you're going to do a terrific job. I supported you from the beginning. Now I can say it because I know a lot of people always call me and ask, you know, can you support me and whatever. But I supported you right from the beginning. And I know you're going to do a tremendous job. And Wayne, you got a heck of a campaign manager right there. Congratulations. I want to congratulate the rest of the aldermen too. The new ones and the uh, rest of the aldermen that got uh, reelected. You know, this city is in, is in good hands. It's tough. We make some tough decisions. Some are popular, some aren't. But guess what? We all mean well and for the best of the entire city of Waukegan. So with that said and done, thank you, Mayor, you know, for those kind, for those wonderful words that you wrote in a card. Tamika, thank you for the lovely gift uh, for the cigar uh, humidor that you gave me. Thank you very much. I'm going to fill that up. So, Noel, thank you for that lovely card. And let me tell you, I'm going to miss, I'm going to miss a lot of people. I'm going to miss a lot of people. I've been very lucky. I've met so many fine people in this community. You know, uh, everyone, from business people to developers. You know, it, it's so much fun. It's so much fun. People care. And I've always said this community has always been a caring and loving community. I'm proud of this community. And believe me, when somebody bad raps my, my town or city of Waukegan, they get my blood boiling because I love this community. Tori, you know, we go way back. We've done a lot of good things together. And we know what Waukegan means to us. It's a diverse community. It's a beautiful community. You should be proud of this community. You should be proud of this community. And guess what? It's going in the right direction. Thank you very much. Sorry Thank I you. took my time. Well, I, I think most of you know I'm a no-nonsense mayor. I, I believe in doing things quickly, effectively, and efficiently. But we have to take a five-minute break. So in five minutes, we're going to swear in the new officers. In five minutes, we'll be back. Ladies and gentlemen, I think one of the biggest honors that a person can receive in this community is to, is to be elected to a position. Because what that means is that more people like you that don't. And that's a big deal. So that being said, I would like to have all the aldermen go down before the uh, council. And we're going to, Maria, yeah. Maria is going to swear the, all the aldermen in. The three, um, the two new, the three new aldermen stand up front. Though. Everyone. They're all good out. Everyone. No crying. Am I doing it all together? <laughs> okay. This could be this way. Ready? Everybody, everybody raise your right hand and repeat after me. Look at the camera. 
I, I state your name. Do solemnly swear or affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States in the Constitution of the State of Illinois, and I will faithfully discharge the duties of office of Alderman for the City of Waukegan to the best of my ability. That's it. Uh, roll call, please, Madam Clerk. Alderman Taylor? Here. Alderman Cunningham? Present. Alderman Zieger? Present. Alderman Moisio? Present. Alderman Villalobos? Present. Alderman Newsom? Present. Alderman Tempest? Present. Alderman May? Present. Alderman Valco? Yep. Um, item C, approval of payroll dated May 1st, 2015, the amount of $1,346,000. $585.55. Motion by Alderman Valco, second by Alderman Cunningham. Roll call, please, Madam Clerk. Alderman Taylor? Aye. Alderman Cunningham? Aye. Alderman Zieger? Aye. Alderman Moisey? Aye. Alderman Villalobos? Aye. Alderman Newsom? Aye. Alderman Tempest? Aye. Alderman May? Aye. Alderman Valco? Aye. Item D, approval of bills dated May 4th, 2015, the amount of $1,883,000. $414.27. Motion by Alderman Valco, second by Alderman Cunningham. Roll call, please, Madam Clerk. Alderman Taylor? Aye. Alderman Cunningham? Aye. Alderman Zieger? Aye. Alderman Moisio? Aye. Alderman Villalobos? Aye. Alderman Newsom? Aye. Alderman Tempest? Aye. Alderman May? Aye. Alderman Valco? Aye. Item E, approval of raffle sale application for the Waukegan Park District. Motion by Alderman Taylor, second by Alderman May. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Item F, approval of raffle sale application for the Catholic Bishop of, Waukee, of Chicago, DBA, MBT, Parish. Motion by Alderman Villalobos, second by Alderman Newsom. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Item G, motion to authorize the proper city officials or enter into a license agreement with the Western Golf Association relative to the proper property owned by the City of Waukegan in Fountain Square, um, pin number 07361041001. Their property will be utilized for the parking for the BMW Championship Golf Tournament to be held in September, and the city shall receive the sum of $20,000 for issuing said license. Motion by Alderman Seeger, seconded by Alderman Villalobos. Roll call, please, Madam Clerk. Alderman Taylor? 
Aye. Alderman Cunningham? Aye. Alderman Seeger? Aye. Alderman Moisio? Aye. Alderman Villalobos? Aye. Alderman Newsom? Aye. Alderman Tempest? Aye. Alderman May? Aye. Alderman Valco? Aye. Ordinances and resolutions. Item A, resolution authorizing the purchase of property by the City of Waukegan pursuant to the Neighborhood Stabilization Program, specifically 24, 2140 Georgetown Lane, Waukegan, Illinois, in the amount of $10,000. Motion by Alderman Newsom, second by Alderman May. Roll call, please, Madam Clerk. Alderman Taylor? Aye. Alderman Cunningham? Alderman Zeger? Aye. Alderman Moisio? Aye. Alderman Villalobos? Aye. Alderman Newsom? Aye. Alderman Tempest? Aye. Alderman May? Aye. Alderman Valco? Aye. <clears throat> Item B, uh, just for information, when I appointed Alderman May to the e Economic Development Committee, I chose to eliminate the Lakefront Committee. She was the chair of the Lakefront Committee. This, her committee now will incorporate the Lakefront so she'll have the same responsibility as before, just some added responsibilities. Um, motion by, this motion is amend chapter two, section 241 of the Waukegan City Ordinance, repeating, repealing the Lake Be Lakefront Beach Standing Committee as said committee is being merged into the Emma Economic Development Committee. Motion by Alderman Valco, Seconded by Alderman Mosier. Roll call, please, Madam Clerk. Alderman Taylor? Aye. Alderman Cunningham? Aye. Alderman Seeger? Aye. Alderman Moisio? Aye. Alderman Villalobos? Aye. Alderman Newsom? Aye. Alderman Tempest? Aye. Alderman May? Aye. Alderman Valco? Aye. Alderman's time, Madam Clerk. Alderman Taylor. Um, I first off like to thank the Ninth Ward residents for the support and the faith that you've shown me. Um, it truly is an honor and a privilege to serve the city. I love the city. Second, I'd like to thank my daughters. Um, they are just intelligent, amazing women in their own right. And thank you for inspiring me and for putting up with your mom's craziness. <laughs> um, I'd like to thank my husband who has been there through 34 years with me the most amazing man ever. And if you've ever been through an election with somebody and they still are married to you, <laughs> adore them. <laughs> um, last, I'd like to thank Alderman Rivera and his family for the 12 years of service he's given this community. I just want to say thank you. And that's all. Alderman uh, Cunningham. Uh, I, too, uh, would like to thank the residents of the First Ward for giving me another opportunity to be their leader. And as we move forward to uh, make sure the city of Waukegan is bigger, better, and brighter for the future, um, uh, I look forward to working with um, the new aldermen who have been selected to serve as leaders of our community. But more importantly, as we all work together to move Waukegan to a, a better place, not for us, but hopefully for the young men and young ladies who are, who will be coming up behind us. Uh, and the uh, strength of thanking people from, from a support standpoint. Obviously, you know, my mom is in the audience and everybody knows how she feels about her, her kids. So, uh, thank you, Commissioner Cunningham. I have to call a commissioner, not mom. Alderman Seeger. I'd like to thank everyone in the second ward to that supported me, my family, my son, my campaign manager, Fritz Krause, his wife, Mary, everyone. Uh, it, the whole team, they were fantastic. And I'd li also like to thank all the homeowners that let me put out my political signs, the businesses, all the support, positive, straight, go, and it was, it was a fantastic ele election. Uh, low voter turnout. We set, we set the lowest voter turnout in Lake Crook and Will County. And when they said that I had won by two votes, I said, oh my goodness. <laughs> but I, every vote counts, so I urge everyone Next election, election comes up, get out and vote and come on down to city council meetings. Get down here, your voice can be heard and will be heard. 
Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. I'd like to uh, get support, or excuse me, thank uh, the Third Ward uh, voters that uh, supported me and have supported me the last uh, 12 years that I've been in office. It's an honor to, to serve in a public office. Anybody that's up here knows that. Anybody that, that just left us knows that. It's a daunting task. It's a great responsibility uh, to try to live up to. I'd also like to thank my family, my mom and dad, my wife and my three daughters. Uh, being uh, a public servant and going through an election is not always easy on the family and not so much the election always but the work that comes after that we all know it can be uh, very stressful uh, at times uh, trying to get things done and trying to do what's right uh, so I thank them for their constant support uh, with that I'd like to thank the three aldermen that uh, that served up here again the, uh, I know that all of them care about Waukegan and care about their neighborhoods. That's why they did the job that they did. And I'd like to welcome the three new aldermen uh, that are here. I know they care about the city and care about their neighborhood. And I look forward to working with them as I do with the whole council as always. Thank you. Alderman Villalobos. Um, first, I'd like to start off by saying thank you everybody for showing up tonight. Um, as I come to the city hall meetings, <clears throat> Um, it's great to see when it's packed. So if this is your first time coming mm -hmm. to a meeting, um, I invite you to come to more. Um, coupled with that, I um, just want to say thank you to everyone who helped me and supported me. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to forget everyone, so I'll just say one blanket statement. Thank you, friends, family, colleagues, constituents, um, anybody and everyone that's been part of my life. Um, this is a, an accomplishment that's just now starting to bear weight on me. I'm like, oh my gosh, here we are. Um, but I do look forward to serving Waukegan to the best that I can. Um, I look forward to meeting as many residents of the city that I can, um, as many, ideally, all of my uh, constituents and residents in the fourth ward. Um, so please, if you see me, say hi to me, okay? I do want to meet as many people as possible in this community because I think that's how we can grow together. So thank you again for everyone. Thank you so much. Alderman Newsom. Sounded like a record up here. I, <laughs> I too would like to thank the residents of the fifth ward that um, supported me in this last election. Twelve years is a long time to be sitting on the council, and I, I look forward to serving to the best of my ability, not only the fifth ward but the residents of the city of Waukegan, and to my biggest supporter, my husband, um, for always being there beside me, pushing me. Sometimes when I may get a little lax, he'll let me know, well, you got to go the extra mile. You got to go the extra step. And like Alderman Taylor uh, has said, that um, if you have a husband that stands by you through an election, I've had four, uh, that he's been right there, my biggest supporter, Tori Newsom. And I'd like to thank you for that. And I'd also like to thank um, the outgoing three aldermen, um, Alderman Beatling, Alderman Conkin, and Alderman Rivera. I've enjoyed working with you three men. Uh, Alderman Rivera, uh, I knew when I came in in 2003, we go back about 30 years, our kids went to school together. And I've seen him work on any project that he got on. He did it to the best of his ability. And I knew that he would be an excellent alderman and he did serve the Ninth Ward to the best of his ability. And I believe Alderman Conkin and Alderman Beedling did the same. So thanks again for being here tonight, and thanks again to the mayor for uh, my committee appointments. Thank you for putting faith in me to chair a committee. And I won't let you down. Thank you. Alderman Tempest. Thank you. Uh, I want to thank all those that uh, had the confidence in me to vote for me once again for Alderman. I don't know what I'd do without the job. I need something to do all day long. <laughs> I'm a retired school teacher. I do like to make house calls. Call me, I'll be right over. That's so much better than trying to hear it from the phone. I want to thank Jack Dye for a very competent <laughs> component 
You ran a very clean campaign, and someday I think you'll be an outstanding alderman. I really do believe that. Well qualified. So I had a well qualified candidate running against me. But I've been around a little longer, and that helps sometimes, Jack. Uh, but thank you for the kind of campaign you ran. You, you're going to be a plus for Waukegan. And I'm glad you got a committee assignment because I know you do very well there. Uh, again, I want to thank everybody again. And, Mayor, I, I'm glad I'm on your team. You have a great corporation council. You some, have wonderful department heads, chief of police, fire chief, public works. Mm -hmm. My gosh, you've got a great team going on. Mm -hmm. I want to see it continue to go and continue to get this city turned around, which you're doing. And thank you all for giving me the confidence once again to, to serve you. And I enjoy serving you. I really do. Without the job, I just want to call the undertaker. I, I need something to do about it. I really do. Thank you all again. Alderman May. Thank you. Um, I too want to thank the residents of the seventh ward. Although I was unopposed, you may be proud you showed up and you voted. Um, so thank you for for the vote of confidence. Um, like everyone else, I have an awesome family. My parents are here. My yeah. brother, my husband, my big sister, my campaign manager Pat back there. Um, I, I have a great uh, team behind me that supports me campaign or no campaign, day in and day out. So thank you. They, they know that I take this job very seriously and I take it to the heart. And sometimes I really need their support. So thank you. Um, uh, to my residents, you know, my, my goal has always been transparency and communication to the residents of Waukegan, 7th Ward and beyond. And I hope that um, I can continue to provide you with that. Um, Please, a lot of you email me, phone calls. I maintain a Facebook page. Interact with me. L let me know what you need. Let me know what the problem is. I'm still, I'm still want to strive to give the best communication and transparency possible. I want people involved in the city government. So I, I um, appreciate everyone who's been so involved, and I, I hope you will stay um, as such. And lastly, I want to co congratulate our new council members. Um, there is no handbook or manual for this up here, and I didn't know what the heck was going to happen in the past four years, and it was been a learning experience and a really wild ride. But um, you have my phone number. My line is always open if you need any assistance or any help. Um, I'm here. Questions, silly questions. I'm here to help you as one of the newer aldermen. So congratulations to you and welcome. And that's all I have. One last time, thank you to the residents of the 8th Ward uh, for your confidence on sending me back for another term. Thank you to the three departing aldermen for your years of experience and, as Alderman May said, showing us the ropes, helping us out. And I tell you, new aldermen, if you have a problem, if you have a question, Look to your left or look to your right. In your case, look to your right. <laughs> and we're there to help you. We're there to, we were in your shoes, some of us, four years ago. Uh, I would also like to thank my family, my lovely wife Elizabeth of, of 46 years, and my son Andrew, and his lovely wife Sarah. Uh, again, as Alderman May said, this is a wonderful city. Uh, we're here to help you. Um, it gives us great pleasure, as Alderman Tempest said, it gives us great pleasure to serve you. And to send us back, it shows that you have the confidence in us to help serve you. Because sometimes it's not an easy job, guys. It's really not. But we do the best we can. And as Alderman Konkin had said previously, we always have the best interests of Waukegan at our hearts. And we really do. Thank you, everybody, for showing up tonight. Thank again the residents of the 8th Ward. And as Alderman Seeger said, or Villalobos, excuse me, I'd like to see this many people at every council meeting. Mm -hmm. Thanks again, everybody. Good night. Um, to the new, the new Alderman, you're going to hit the ground running because in two years, we've accomplished a lot of things. We have two more years to go, and we intend to double what we did the last, the past two. 
So be prepared. With that being said, motion by Alderman Taylor, second by Alderman Villalobos to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Nay. Me meeting adjourned. <laughs>